Hello guys, I have uh, the first match of the tournament here. It is uh, me and Dexcal versus uh, Iluvatar and uh, Necromancer. We decided to play, uh, actually we played the today some uh, hours ago, uh, because Iluvatar couldn't make it tomorrow. So it's the first match of the tournament. Uh, I am starting with men and cavalry. Excal is uh, Mordor. Iluvatar is Mordor as well. And uh, Necromancer is uh, men. It's a mirror match. The only difference is that uh, I'm starting with cavalry and uh, Necro is starting with uh, infantry and Boromir. I was a little uh, troubled uh, whether to make uh, Eowyn or not. Uh, at this point, Excal asked me, uh, should we both attack uh, Necro? Uh, I told him that uh, he probably will make Eowyn and uh, they will keep uh, Felbeast uh, in his base for defense as well. But as you can see, Iluvatar is playing uh, with uh, Mouth of Sauron. I couldn't see that at the moment. It was about this time that I saw it and uh, I told Dexcal attack uh, the Mordor fort and I was going as well to help him. But as you can see here, uh, Iluvatar was very smart, he made the uh, fire arrows to protect his base, so he He's drawing Felbeast back here. And I'm bringing uh, my Theoden along to help him. And at this point, his Felbeast uh, got stuck and uh, we lost it. I don't know what this ha why this happened. Uh, it, it does happen sometimes. Uh, I wasn't sure. I'm not sure if this is the case, but anyway, it was a very bad start losing Felbeast, of course. And as you can see, uh, Necro is coming with uh, Boromir and some Spearmen. I'm not paying very much attention to my base right now. I want uh, to level up my Theoden and attack uh, Iluvatar's fort. And uh, this is why I lost both of my builders at this point. I am making some swordmen to attack uh, Necro's uh, spearmen. So I have uh, lost both my builders. I'm in bad shape here. I must do something quickly. I decide to attack with my Theoden right away. And yeah. Uh, Boromir has taken down my fortress and uh, there's not much left here. Necro has used uh, his uh, hill structure on uh, Ilubatar's fort, but uh, here I'm losing uh, my last uh, building and uh, I lost the game. <coughs> Very bad start, <coughs> excuse me, because uh, if we did had the Felbeast at this point, uh, we probably could have taken down uh, Iluvatar's base. And as you can see, Iluvatar has only one barracks on uh, the other side. He wouldn't have been defeated, so I'm not saying we could have won the game or anything. Just uh, it would have been a totally different match. And uh, besides losing Felbeast, I lost uh, both my builders in my base, I didn't pay attention. And yeah, this uh, obviously was uh, a huge mistake. Excal is trying uh, to spam some orcs and uh, take down what remains of uh, Iluvatar's fort, but uh, Necro has sent uh, one of his rangers to protect it. 
no way Ekkal can take down his uh, Illumatar Sport now. One Ranger unit is enough. To hold back uh, up until four units of uh, Orc Warriors. So yeah, this uh, game was uh, is over. I mean, uh, it's only a matter of time before Excal uh, loses his fort now. Um, we had a very bad start, like I told you before. Uh, we lost Felbeast. Uh, I lost my builders, and there you go. Uh, first match uh, ended. Very bad start. It's always the worst to uh, play in a game with uh, the rules of uh, one that reaches two wins first, uh, qualifies to the next round and... Uh, worst case scenario. As you can see, Excal has uh, taken down uh, Ilubatar's barrack on the other side. So yeah, like I told you, if we had uh, Felbeast, we probably could have taken down Ilubatar's fort and maybe even uh, destroy him. I'm not sure, and uh, I'm almost positive that even if I had saved one of my builders. I couldn't have done much to help uh, Excal here. Boromir is level 10 now. I mean, he was level 5 after he took down my fort. So... He's a very, it's a very strong way to attack. As you can see, just uh, Boromir, two units of Spearmen and one unit of Rangers on the back. Necromancer is an excellent player. Yeah, first game is over, let me just uh, begin the second game right away. Okay, so here is the second game. This time I was uh, Elves, Excal was Isengard, Iluvatar, Mordor again, and uh, also Necromancer Mordor. Uh, at this point, uh, Excal used his Burge to see our opponents. We saw two Mordor. I was uh, thinking of uh, the worst case scenario, two Fell Beasts, almost impossible to defend. Uh, I had clicked Lego. Lego would have been very useful uh, against uh, Fell Beast. 
but I would also definitely need uh, some archers and uh, worst case scenario would be that both Pale Beasts would attack uh, Excal base because Isengard's uh, archers are a lot uh, weaker than the Elven archers. I have leveled up my Lego and I was, like I told you, I was pretty much uh, certain that uh, they was going to bring uh, two fell beasts. I sent my builder to Excal's base to make a heroic statue and uh, provide some leadership for his archers. And I kept my Lego in my base, also one heroic statue. Archers was coming. Of course those guys are playing both with uh, Mouth of Sauron. I didn't know that at that time. Um, very weird choice to begin. I mean, if uh, one was Mordor and the other one was another race, maybe then it would have been safe to play with Moss and Nazgul, but they have chosen to start only with Mouth of Sauron each and uh, move them together. So at this point I'm bringing my Lego. I see that they are both playing with uh, Moss. So I unclicked one of my archers and uh, produced uh, one uh, Mithlon sentry, some spearmen, to protect my archers. I have also sent one unit of archers in Excal's base. I know he's gonna need them anyway uh, against the orc spam, even if they didn't bring uh, fell beast. And yeah, uh, I know Necro's tactic. Uh, Necro is always spamming very good with uh, with orcs when he has when he's Mordor. I'm very close on, on killing uh, his Mouth of Sauron, so I'm uh, moving my Lego on the other side to hit him for the last time. I would have uh, missed uh, Mouth of Sauron, but fortunately Excal had sent some uh, archers near my base and uh, he managed to kill him, so ma one Mouth of Sauron dead. I'm trying to kill uh, Iluvatar's Mouth of Sauron as well, it's very important uh, at the beginning of the game. But I did miss it. In the meantime, Excal is uh, pushing uh, Iluvatar. At this point, uh, Necromancer decides to change uh, his direction and uh, focus on Excal because Excal is. Uh, having uh, his army on the bottom. Excal uh, signaled me here and uh, told me that uh, uh, I should move my archers to attack uh, Necromancer's orcs. I'm bringing my Lego as well. I want very much to kill uh, Iluvatar's Mouth of Sauron. Yeah, as you can see, very little left again. Again, I'm moving my Lego uh, where I expect uh, Mouth of Sauron to, to be after a while. And yeah, there you go. Illus, uh, Illuvatar's uh, Mouth of Sauron is dead as well. 
Look how good Necromancer is spamming. Uh, I told you this in the beginning. He's very good with uh, handling orcs. And of course he had he has remade uh, Mouth of Sorrow. At this point I'm facing a strong attack in my base. Uh, two units of orcs uh, with uh, War Chant and uh, Mouth of Sauron. I didn't get a chance to make uh, more wall hubs, so I can't protect my fort very well. Again, I want uh, to track down and kill uh, Necros, Mouth of Sauron. Also very nice play by Excal here, uh, he has sent two units uh, in my base to protect me and he, in the meanwhile he was also protecting his base and uh, also attacking with Lerge. <coughs> so I know those guys don't have much right now, uh, I know it's time uh, to start producing some uh, Swordman to put some pressure on my opponents. Yeah, there you go, my swordmen have arrived. It's time to start focusing on uh, attacking. Swordmen are, uh, elven swords are excellent for resource killing. But they are very weak, I can't attack uh, Necromancer's fort right now. But as you can see it was uh, a move uh, made at the right moment uh, because Necro was uh, making uh, some uh, trolls and also some catapults. It would be very hard for me to attack him uh, after he had made uh, catapults and uh, trolls. So I want to destroy as many buildings as I can, but for uh, not allowing them to expand too much, but also because I want to get as many command points and as many magic points as I can. Uh, I have already reached uh, the 10 power points after my heal, and now I want to reach the end, the 15 point magic, magic skill, as fast as I can. As you can see at this point, uh, both players are trying to attack me with some orcs. Excal is uh, defending me very well. I have also set up a small base in order to produce uh, swords a lot faster.
as you can see Necro don't have much right now and uh, neither does uh, Lubatar but uh, we can't attack their fort right now because they have uh, fear statues So I'm, uh, I told Dexcal at this point to focus a little bit on Ilubatar, destroy some of his buildings as well and not give them uh, uh, lots of money. Yeah, Excal is using his army very well. He's attacking uh, Ilubatar's base. Of course, I am losing uh, my small base uh, that I had made near Necromancer's fort. He now has uh, three orc pits and he's spamming very good. So it was uh, expected for me to lose my base. And uh, since I didn't have a tower, and even if I did have a tower, I probably would have lost it again. Uh, I'm not very, much, I'm not very worried though. Uh, he only has orcs right now, and I uh, have lots of uh, archers. I am a little worried uh, for Excal's base because he's focused on attacking Ilubatar, and he doesn't have much on his fort. I'm trying to make uh, another base, this time I bring uh, most of my archers back uh, at this point uh, to ensure that no more orcs will come and I'm also sending some uh, swords to help my teammate uh, attack his opponent base. Again uh, I know if they make uh, more fear statues we will not have a chance attacking them. But uh, that's okay because even if I just destroy some of his buildings, as you can see, I'm very close on getting the ends. Only four points left now. Again, Excal is very helpful. He captured crippled the uh, mouth of Sauron and now we can kill it but again uh, Necromancer manages to push me back and this time I don't have much in my base Excal, as you can see Excal has already made uh, one tower I haven't used uh, my towers so far
from Lorient. We are very close on taking down Excal's fort, uh, excuse me, Lubatar's fort, but uh, Necro is arriving with uh, some help. And uh, plus, they have one more fear statue. But I do have my ends now. And I choose to use them to take down uh, Ilubatar's fort as fast as we can. And besides that, I can still move them uh, to... I can still move them to Necro's base after I'm done with uh, Lubatar's fort. Yeah, Necro did kill uh, two of my ends. Yeah, no more ends. No chance of taking down uh, Necro's fort now, but uh, things uh, look very good. Uh, we have uh, destroyed most of uh, our opponent's buildings. And yeah, at this point, Excal told me uh, to make uh, some towers. Of course, we were going to need the towers in case against the orc spam. Things look very good now, I have more swordmen, uh, more farms, more command points. Uh, of course, Necromancer's Mouth of Sauron is uh, level 10. But it doesn't matter. He can't kill Lurch right away, he can't kill my Lego right away uh, and I do have a heal so... We don't have to worry about much
now it's time to establish a small base as you can see I'm making some heroic statues I'm making a second tower to cover all the exits and uh, I also want to make uh, some uh, ends at this point no need to wait for the 15 point magic skill to recharge There you go, this, there is my end mood. And yeah, there are not many things those guys can do right now. Uh, they can only make orcs. No matter how many orcs they send us, we can kill them with just two towers and some archers inside. And here Excal chooses uh, to attack. Unfortunately, we have lost uh, Lerch and along with Lerch we no longer have leadership for our troops. You can see here why it's uh, very hard to take down the Mordor fort if it has uh, many uh, fear statues. My end is very close on uh, taking down Necros Fort. But here Necro gets uh, the Gorgonoth's fire and he uses it against my ends. But I do have my 15 point magic skill recharged now. He would, lost, he would have lost his fort anyway uh, by Excal's troops. Doesn't matter. And yeah, Necro has been defeated, only Lubatar's fort left now.
And yeah, this game is over. Uh, very good game. Again, I was very surprised uh, not to see those guys uh, using two fell beasts at the beginning. But yeah, it was a good game. Uh, score is now 1-1. One, one, one win for each of the teams. And yeah, let me just show you the third game. Okay, this time uh, it's the last game, of course. Whoever wins gets uh, through to the next round. This time I am Mordor. Excal is men and he's starting with cavalry. Ilubatar is men. He's starting with infantry and uh, Necro is Elves. He's starting with Randwil. Of course, I had uh, clicked uh, Fell Beast and wanted to wait a little bit to see how my opponents are going to play. Uh, I saw men at this point and uh, they hadn't seen us, so I knew that uh, Necro was also a good race. I saw Elves and at this point I cancelled Felbeast and clicked on Mouth of Sauron and Nazgul. So yeah, I knew my heroes were going to be a little late. But that's okay because uh, if I was going to play with Fell Beast, it would be extremely difficult to do anything with uh, with it, since uh, Lubatar is playing with uh, infantry. And yeah, Necro is uh, rushing me here. Not many things to do, but uh, fortunately my heroes do come here to help me with uh, his uh, swordman. Of course he's moving uh, his Thranduil very good, he has killed both of my builders right now. And yeah, Excal is uh, rushing uh, Iluvatar with uh, his uh, cavalry. We were very lucky, Iluvatar didn't have any uh, spearmen at this point, but he did have Boromir. I'm bringing my heroes to help uh, Excal at this point. Unfortunately, his uh, King Theoden hasn't reached level 4 yet. Double teaming very good here. Um, unfortunately, Gondor knights are not very strong, so we lost uh, all our army. But uh, as you can see, uh, Iluvatar's base has uh, nothing left. He has sent one builder to his teammate base to make uh, some structures there, but uh, his base has literally nothing. It was a very strong attack. Of course, uh, Necro is uh, has started spamming some uh, swordmen.
yeah, Lubatar is using very nice uh, his uh, Boromir. Just killed uh, all of uh, Excal's uh, cavalry. And yeah, I'm hunting down uh, Luvatar's uh, builder. I think I have killed him by now. And I was trying to destroy his other barrack because I am sending uh, some orcs in his base uh, to take down his fort. And yeah, Excal is uh, signaling me for some help. Of course, I know that uh, I can't do much with uh, my orcs. Uh, I just uh, send my two heroes. Because I want uh, to send my orcs uh, to Iluvatar's base and uh, destroy it. Of course here my orcs, uh, it was a wrong click or something, they turned back. But yeah, Excal is uh, facing a strong attack in his base. But uh, no worries, we have taken down uh, Iluvatar's fort. Bad thing is that uh, Necrostrandwil is level 7 here. They still have uh, Boromir. So yeah, we are very unfortunate uh, losing uh, Excal's fort here. And as you can see, this is uh, Iluvatar's last building. does have one builder left but uh, it's very dangerous because of Thranduil I'm sending some works I want to destroy Luvatar as fast as I can My orcs were a little uh, uncoordinated there but it's okay, one unit can do the job and there you go, Luvatar has been defeated At this point I said uh, to Excal, be very careful of your builder, uh, Thranduil is uh, somewhere around. And yeah, as you can see Necro is very smart, he's moving Thranduil around to try and uh, track down Excal's last builder. <laughs> and yeah, unfortunately, Excal is moving in the direction of uh, <laughs> Thranduil. He tried to hid, hid, hide his builder. He has told me this tactic, tactic before because uh, most players see this uh, the game from this perspective. Uh, if you put your builder somewhere around here. Uh, the other player, most of the time, he won't be able to see it. Anyway, I'm trying to destroy as many of uh, Necromancer's farms as I can. Not give him much space uh, to have money, resources to make uh, uh, 
a large army. And yeah, in this, at this point, uh, Excal uh, doesn't have any other builders. He has uh, sent me all his money to help me uh, play the game better. He is making some uh, cavalry though. And he, st he still has Theoden and Theoden is level 5. So this is a very strong weapon to use, especially against elves. Uh, And yeah, I'm moving my Mouth of Sauron uh, in uh, every lair I can find to try and reach him level 10. Necro now has uh, three towers in his base, so he's very well protected. My only goal is uh, to try and destroy some of. Uh, Necromancer's uh, farms here with uh, the orcs I can't do much more as you can see Excal has uh, two units of Rohirrim here one unit of Gondor Knights and of course Theoden he told me he will try and attack I told him uh, to wait a little bit uh, so I can help him. I see that, that uh, this was a mistake now because uh, Necromancer has uh, no spearmen in his base and even if he did get one spearman they can't do much against uh, Excal's Theoden and his cavalry. He's getting another unit over here. Yeah, I think we should have attacked by now. Plus, uh, Necro has uh, a level 10 Thranduil. So yeah, Excal is uh, trying to go for an attack. I told him to wait. He drew back his army. At this point, Necro kills his uh, Theoden, very well played by Necro, he did everything right. I keep moving my Mouth of Sauron to all the layers, trying to reach level 10. At this point Excal can't do much, he only has uh, one barrack and one stable, excuse me, two barracks and one stable. 
So he just uh, sends me all uh, his uh, resources. My Mouth of Sauron now is level 10, so I can kill Thranduil if I see him somewhere. And I keep spamming some orcs, trying to destroy some of uh, Necromancer's farms. At this point Excal told me he knows he doesn't stand a chance, he's going to lose for sure and uh, he sent me all his money, so I have uh, some resources now, I have chosen to make uh, some more fear statues in my base, I have also clicked uh, the fortress upgrade uh, to, for better uh, armor and I'm also making uh, two troll cages in order to make some attack trolls and attack uh, necromancer's base Yeah, excuse me, I failed to mention this. Uh, Excal has been defeated at this point. Uh, I see you. Necro used uh, his uh, level 7 uh, Thranduil skill and uh, destroyed his uh, building. At this point I am searching for Thranduil in order to use my Mouth of Sauron level 10 skill. But yeah, unfortunately I have Mouth of Sauron way behind. I have clicked on his level 10 skill now, but I know I can't uh, get to him before he reaches his base. So I decided to draw back Mouth of Sauron. Let him be. As you can see, I'm making uh, some more farms and lumber mills on the edges of the map. And yeah, at this point. I couldn't see this, but uh, Necro is playing uh, really smart, he's bringing some uh, archers to hide in the trees, this is uh, of course one of their abilities, since they are elves. And uh, yeah, he wants to protect his base from uh, Another orc spam with his archers. I'm upgrading my uh, troll cages to level uh, three in order to get some attack trolls, and I have also uh, I also have Gorgon's fire on my fort now because I want to defend against uh, Necros uh, ends if he tries and to use them. I wasn't sure if uh, he had dance by now, but uh, like you can see, he does. <laughs> 
Necro is playing very smart. He wanted uh, to wait for his archers to lower my Mouth of Sauron health a little more and then with his uh, Thranduil's level 10 Thorn of Vengeance he could kill him. If, he, if uh, Mouth of Sauron's health is uh, full then he can't kill him with Thorn of Vengeance, he just loses uh, about uh, 80 or maybe 85% of his health. So he was waiting uh, for his archers to lower his health and then use uh, Thranduil skill. In the meantime, I have uh, stopped my orc spam in order to produce as many attack throws as I can. As you can see, I have set uh, a rally point here in order to all the attack throws to come from the cages to gather around here and uh, this way I could avoid Necromancer seeing them and uh, attacking them with Thranduil. But yeah, Necro is expanding his base, I no longer have uh, um, uh, spamming orcs. Yeah, Necro is uh, moving uh, even closer to my base, again I can't see this move here, he's uh, making uh, a tower, of course he will need some heroic statues. And you can see here how Thranduil kills, uh, can kill Mouth of Sauron. He, you just use uh, Dead Eye first to lower his health and then you use uh, the Thorn of Vengeance and you can kill him instantly. I had clicked uh, Mouth of Sauron's level 10 skill, it was only a matter of uh, seconds. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm. Uh, making some more attack trolls I couldn't see Necromancer's moves here if I could see them I would have tried attack trolls I have right now to destroy his base Necro also has uh, a lot of uh, power points, he's up to 16 and he is gathering for some more I think to get the 25 point magic skill.
At this point I have Mouth of Sauron back, so I will I want to kill uh, his Thranduil. that but I managed to save my Mouth of Sauron. Anyway, I now have seen that uh, he has all this base here. It's a huge base, many heroic statues, uh, lots of barracks. So I decided uh, to move with my trolls. Unfortunately, uh, Necro here brings uh, some of his spearmen very nice. Uh, kills uh, a couple of my trolls. I now draw back my attack trolls in order to use my uh, fortress skill and kill most of his spearmen, but unfortunately, I miss my my hit. lose some more uh, attack trolls so I want to move in now uh, attack his fort I still have uh, 10 attack trolls they should do the job But he has his Thranduil also, uh, he already killed one of my attack trolls and he has lots of spearmen as you can see, 5 units of spearmen in his base. I try to split my attack trolls in order to uh, make him not be able to defend. only have uh, five attack trolls now and at the top he is attacking my fort uh, he knows he's going to use uh, he needs to use his skills because maybe he will lose his fort uh, he used uh, his 25 point magic skill the waves of uh, horses to take down my fortress fortifications and now he has used his ends to attack my fort and here you can see he managed uh, to save uh, his fort for uh, one hit. If my attack trolls had managed to hit one more time, I would have taken it down. Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, he, as you can see, he has four barracks here and uh, two more here. And he uh, has a builder, he's making some more barracks. I have uh, lost my entire base here. I do have one builder and I have made uh, one barracks elsewhere. So yeah, this game is uh, over. No way to beat uh, the elves in late game, especially if uh, you have no fort. But I do send my attack trolls. I just want to take down his fort Yeah, but my attack troll misses his hit, and yeah, Necro managed to save his fort eventually. Uh, so yeah, this game is over. Of course I have money to make another fort, but uh, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, 
Necro still has his fort, he has uh, two heroes, he has, he has his uh, barracks, strong army. So yeah, this game is over. Uh, those guys uh, won 2-1 against us, me and Excal, and they have uh, qualified to the next round. Uh, they were all very good games. I enjoyed, especially the two, the last two games. I enjoyed them very much. Uh, they were all close games. You know, if you did uh, one thing wrong, it could have cost you the game. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, besides the first match, which uh, we played uh, horribly, I do believe that uh, the the rest two matches were very interesting to see. So yeah, tomorrow we're going to have uh, some more uh, fights. I will try to see all the replays and uh, upload all the games. And I do hope that I will uh, record live the semi-finals and the final. Very well played by Luvatar and Necromancer. Necro is an excellent player, very hard to beat. And yeah, game is over. Two wins for uh, the V team and one win for the Balkan team. Unfortunately, this tournament has ended uh, early for us, but it's okay. Uh, they were very good games and uh, yeah, now I've got the chance to uh, maybe observe more games and record them live. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, more of the tournament matches coming soon.